Sunday Kite. The Harvard School. On Monday at 3 p.m., Doug ran through the doors of. He went home, did his chores, then his home. He could think of little after that. He had one thing on his mind, to fly his kite. For flying his kite was only on Sundays. He thought that Sundays were the ideal day for kite flying and no other day but Sunday. Doug was doing things that he was not aware of. Doug really did believe that he could fly his kite with a wonderful wind every single Sunday. He just recently started to believe that the highest winds and the best Sunday was a magic wind day for his kite. He made himself believe that. He was not aware that he had forgotten about his two best friends, Katie and Lori. They played ball together. They played uh, tug of war together. They played um, uh, water balloon together. But yet Doug had completely forgotten. His only desire was for Sunday for kite flying. Doug was not purposely forgetting about his best friends, Katie and Lori. Yet, however, the strong winds, Doug just loved the strong winds, flying his kite, the breeze hitting his face. He was losing sight of the fact that his best friends missed him. Katie and Lori really missed their friend, Doug. Doug had not a clue. The playing, the racing, the getting snacks, the bicycle washings, all of those wonderful things, Katie and Lori, they could not understand why their friend Doug did not want to play with The one Sunday that Doug had with the really, 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 really windy winds and the a strong kite flying really had dug into a belief that the Sundays would never change. He really believed that all Sundays weather would always be the same. Doug no longer wanted to play with Katie and Lori. His concentration was on the high winds and best winds for Sunday. He had completely forgotten about all of the fun times that he and Katie and Lori had had. But time was about to get Doug to remember quite a few things, as a matter of fact. The one Sunday that Doug had with the really, 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 really windy winds and the a strong kite flying really had dug into a belief that the Sundays would never change. He really believed that all Sundays weather would always be the same. Doug no longer wanted to play with Katie and Lori. His concentration was on the high winds and best winds for Sunday. He had completely forgotten about all of the fun times that he and Katie and Lori had had. But time was about to get Doug to remember quite a few things, as a matter of fact. Saturday night, Doug went to sleep and could hardly wait to go and fly his kite on Sunday. Sunday had approached so soon he couldn't believe it. He had a few more hours of sleep and Sunday he and the kite would have one of the most outstanding days. Sunday kite. Doug was so sad. He could not believe it. It literally rained all day long on Sunday. It rained all day long. No kite flying for Doug. He had waited all week for Sunday and the rain ruined it. He couldn't believe it. It didn't take Doug long to learn that he needed his friends, both Kate and Lori. On a rainy day, Doug and Katie and Lori always have tons of fun. They have chocolate milk, peanut butter sandwiches, and all kinds of games, board games, ripping and running, washing bicycles, the whole nine yards. Now, Doug's world had completely changed. It was raining on Sunday, and there was no Katie and no Lori, but a valuable lesson had been learned. Doug realized Sundays could come and Sundays could go, but there would never be another Katie and Lori.
Katie and Lori had very forgiving hearts. They knew that their friend Doug would be stuck in the house and they missed their rainy day activities. So the girls headed on over to Doug's house. Doug turned around in the garage and to his amazement, there standing was Katie and Lori waiting to play, waiting to color characters, throw water balloons and eat snacks. And most importantly, love one another as best friends do. Doug, Katie, and Lori had a wonderful time. It rained. It rained, and there was no flying of kites, but there were plenty peanut butter sandwiches eaten. There were plenty water balloons thrown, and there were there was lots and lots of love between three friends, Doug, Katie, and Lori. 